I want to bring a good friend of mine um, up. And see, this brother, he, he pastors um, a, a, a thriving church in Honolulu, Hawaii. I mean, church is off the chain. I mean, I mean, really, I've been there, living the word. It's an awesome church. He's pastoring his church. But, he, but he, he has a unique ministry because something I noticed there from dealing with his members who love him to life, he has a unique way. He's a licensed um, a counselor as well. So a big part of his ministry is dealing with people who've been sent into the world with issues. He, he, he has a unique way of getting to the bottom of everything you say and, and pinpoint, okay, I, I, those are symptoms, but let me tell you what the problem is. Cornelia, can you walk to the stage? Pastor Raymond Black, Living the Word Ministries. Hey, sir, how you feeling? Good, have a seat. Good. Aloha, sir. Aloha. It says when Jacob, went, when Jacob left home, he ended up with 11 children by four different women out into the world. Sir, my question to you, how might, how might a man with 11 children, with four different women, how might that situation have impacted him as a man today? Like they, they, just in case if there's someone who is a Jacob type with, with, with multiple children by multiple different women, how might that impact him today? If we just, if, is there anyone in the house that comes from a broken family that has had, had to mend together? So in that household, there's a dynamic that's there that is pretty rough. So you get abused, you may not be accepted. So he probably had to go through a lot of things as a result of these brothers and sisters that didn't come from the same biological father. So there's a lot of stress and strain that can be placed on someone from that. So, so, so you're saying it's, it's stressful being a dad trying to keep peace amongst children with four different mothers. Can you imagine raising children in a home where the four moms are in the home and the 11 kids or some almost saw crying just there oh no no, no 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 I'm not ready okay he grew up in a home where he, where, where it appears that he was never affirmed by his dad the, the only time he had been showed affection and attention was when he actually manipulated his father. He, the only time it appears that, that he only, that he, that, he, that, he, that, he, that he received affirmation from his dad was when he pretended to be someone else. How might that have impacted this, this, this Jacob? Well, when you have to get something in a way that God didn't intend for it to be done, you manipulate it. And when you manipulate it, it can become an addiction. So you can be addicted to manipulation. Whoa! Stop the madness. You mean to tell me you can become addicted to manipulation? That manipulation can become your way? That, that even when the truth will do, you'll still lie? Yes, sir. And it can start when you're a child. You share some with you young people. You think it's cute right now to wear one outfit to school, then change when you get to school. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Have secret codes on your phone with the pictures and the real text messages that your parents can't find because they don't know about the new app that text messages are behind a calculator in. It's cute right now to tell your parents you're going somewhere and be somewhere else, but you are learning the way of manipulation and that can become addictive. Yes. Hmm. How might Esau, I mean Jacob, have felt about his mom? How, could he have had mama issues? Because it was, it was, he never heard Esau say this. He took it from a mom who he knew knew how to lie. How could that have impacted his view towards women? I can't speak on Jacob, but I can speak on myself. Come on, sir. Because I had a mother that was in that same process. And because of the way that I grew up, I expected certain things from her. And when she didn't do it the way God said, I know how I responded to women mm. coming up. So I can imagine him being that same way, even though he had a father that only had one mother, only one wife he ended up having many. So he broke a pattern. And I broke a pattern not knowing any different. I grew up with 
many a jerseys that I wore. Mm. So, so you, you, you tried a bunch of jerseys? I was settling for what I had right then. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what he had in store for oh. me later. So you're saying every time you got hungry, yes, sir. you partook and you were in a way dismissing the promise. If I can do it all over again, I recognize I would have put the credit card up and, and just took my time to pay for it because I went in debt for something that is nowhere near as, as good as I have Y'all ain't even brother said. He said he would. <laughs> yes, sir. And then the Bible says that when Rachel, that Rachel said to him, I'm mad. Well, I can't have kids. And then Jacob responded, woman, what's wrong with you? He said, am I God? Am I God? What, what, what am I going to do? Jacob goes off on the one he loves. And then Laban, when Rachel spoke, when Laban's uncle thought he stole some things from him and Laban ran him down, Jacob went off on Laban, on Laban too. He said, what's wrong with you? I ain't still nothing. I'm sick of this. You've been acting like this all my life. You cheated me on all this stuff. I did this. And he snaps on Laban. Laban. And then as you're going to see in a few moments, when God interrupts him at night, he starts fighting with God. It appears that Jacob had anger issues. Major anger issues. Can you please share... How, what might that have come from, these anger issues with Jacob? What, what, what could have informed his anger I, I and his trust issues? I'm, I'm curious. I believe he had, uh, he had issues within himself, and it was a control issue, and there were false expectations. And sometimes we allow people to put false expectations on us, and we feel like we cannot meet those expectations. Oh. Ra Rachel wanted a, a baby. And she got mad at him. Now, he did all he could, but there was nothing he could do to give her a baby. So he took the responsibility of what someone was placing on him. Mm. And he responded to it because he had no control over it. So you're trying to tell me, um, preacher, that when someone is asking, especially someone that, that, that you love, and, and they're asking you to do something, and it's just not you would like to, but you're just not able it's just not in you. You're not the person that they're wanting you to become. And they're asking you to do something that the only way he can do it is, is if he try to fake again. And so now the one he's loving is not affirming him just like his daddy didn't affirm him. Why might Jacob have had issues trusting people? Look at his family. I mean, uh, the upbringing that he had in his family, I'm sure he had expectations that he wanted to receive from his father and his father didn't give it to him. You only see that. You got a, he got uncles and aunts, too, that are around him. You, you look at his family that's around him, I'm sure he's learning not only from his mother and dad, he's learning from his uncles, nephews, mm -hmm. nieces, all that are around him. They had serious issues within the family. So can we blame Jacob for how he was? As a child, no. Keep talking. As a child, sometimes something comes our way and we think like a child, so we interpret like a child, and we're off. You know, I had all of those jerseys, and my interpretation as a young man coming up was, man, I'm great because I got all of these jerseys. If I knew then what I know now, one jersey is all I would have had. So I, I had trust issues. Mm. I had trust issues. I didn't know who I was. I was letting everybody else tell me who I was mm. instead of the one who, who knew who I was going to be. So I put my trust in the outward things, and they did give me a false yeah. affirmation. Right, 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 right. So until I learned to trust in the one who made me, it's going to be hard for me to learn and trust in others. And so give it up, Pastor Black, guys. Thank you, sir.